بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم سلام uh, my dear sisters and brother in uh, beautiful Tehran please accept my warm regards from Doha Qatar in the ceremony of the World Town Planning Day it's absolutely my honor to participate in sending uh, different messages from all around the world uh, to you in your ceremony and gatherings to celebrate this very important day. My name is Ali al -Raouf. I am professor of architecture and urbanism here in Doha, Qatar, and I'm also uh, a member in the board of the International Society of City Planners, ISOCARP. It's really a great honor for me. I know that uh, in your ceremony, you're tackling a very important issue which is urban innovation. And I salute you for selecting such an important and crucial topic. Now, to me, I think cities all over the world are facing incredible number of challenges. Climate change, what we have learned from COVID, the conflicts that we see between countries and within cities, and also the notion of injustice in cities and therefore i am calling for a new meaning of innovation a new understanding of innovation for a good number of years we invested a lot in notions related to innovation using technologies innovation using state-of-the-art technological apparatus and tools and therefore we moved aggressively towards what we called it smart cities. But we also realized that this concept is not that much created for people and geared for people. Yes, we can have a smart city equipped with state-of-the-art equipments, but still not solving the, the main issues that we are looking for. And therefore, I want to use this wonderful opportunity and share with you a sort of a new understanding, a new interpretation, a new meaning of urban innovation, where I think we should put more energy in using our expertise, using our urban creativity, using our new methods and new approaches to be able to really come up with cities for people. And I think cities for people is not only about raising a slogan like we are not going to leave anyone behind but to do that and i think to do that we have to work on different levels one of which is affordable housing we have to create and that was so clear during COVID, that we have to create healthy neighborhoods neighborhoods that would create sense of belonging that would create sense of community and therefore housing issues and housing problems and creating opportunities for people to have decent, healthy, warm homes is fundamentally important. I would also argue that cities for all should accommodate wonderful quality of public spaces, green spaces, midans, sahas, squares, where people will get together and celebrate and practice their rituals. This is also another dimension of how the city can be innovative in creating spaces that would accommodate people and would create sense of love and attraction and affection between people and their own territory. I would also argue that we need to be careful that climate change should be the responsibility of each one of us, not only planners, not city managers, but it's a whole responsibility for every person living on a specific territory, and I would extend the argument even living in the whole world. But to, do, to be able to do that, we have to achieve social and urban justice in the sense that every single person, he would realize, he or she, that your voice is heard and you have a value, and we are considering your value and your voice. And therefore, the local community is important. 
We need to have much better tools for community participation. We have to have more creative manners by which the local voice is heard. And finally, I would also argue that one of our interesting urban uh, innovation tools is to look at the city as a place for learning, so you can learn from the city and you can be inspired by the city. And I cannot find more tangible examples for that rather than Iranian cities. I mean, Tehran, Meshhad, Kazvin, you name it. All of the Iranian cities are places where you can learn and you can be inspired. But we need to work on that. We need to amplify this. We need to do it more and more in a conscious manner. So to make a long story short, I think urban innovation is not any more about technological aspects, but it's more about humanistic and social aspects. I am so grateful that you gave me this opportunity. Thank you so much. Happy Water Town Planning Day and send my regards to everybody in beloved Tehran and Iran. Salam, salam. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.